Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Carlsbad, California today at Callaway headquarters. I've got Dave Neville with me. Dave, great to see you. Good to see you, Chris. 2017 Epic Drivers, 2018 Rogue Drivers, two incredible years for you guys in the driver marketplace. But I know you're even more excited about Epic Flash, which we're going to talk about right now. A lot of really exciting things going on here, starting with flash face technology. I'm not very bright, so I'm going to need you to explain <laughs> it to me. This is the first driver ever designed using artificial intelligence and machine learning. And what that is, if you think about when you do a search on your phone and Google, every time you search it gets better. It learns your voice. It learns different languages. We've applied that now to the driver face. So a typical driver face, we would do something between five or seven prototypes to arrive at the final face. Using AI and the supercomputer that we've in invested in, we've done 15,000 faces. So you've got a new face that I'm holding right here that is just completely different, not intuitive than you've ever seen before. Yeah, and it's pretty amazing to look at the old face and the new face, just how unbelievably different they are. Yeah, so previous faces, the X faces we've used over the last few generations, thick in the middle, thinner out towards uh, the outside. One thing you'll immediately notice with this is, first of all, it's a non-intuitive pattern. There's a series of ripples, but it's very thin in the center of the face, which means your longest shots are going to be longer. It is very hot in the center and all around the region around the center of the face. And I know in some robot testing you've seen, you've seen some pretty impressive ball speed gains. Yeah, incredible in the robot testing and then with torque player gains uh, as well. And this is something you just don't see that often because torque players are so dialed in. We're recently Recently testing with Ollie Schneider Jans and he was at 190 miles an hour ball speed which is just incredible. Matt McNeely, one of our young guns, picking up three miles an hour. So the key thing for your customers is they need to go in and get fit and see what kind of gains they can get. Yeah, and along with these drivers, there's going to be some staple technologies that have made you so successful in the past. Of course, jailbreak is back in this. Just give us a quick refresher about what Jailbreak Yeah, is. Jailbreak was really a breakthrough technology that we brought uh, to Epic. And what it does is it's, it's two titanium bars. It connects the crown and sole together, makes the body of the driver stiffer, which allows us to make the face more flexible. So we really couldn't have done the flash face technology if we didn't have Jailbreak working with it. Obviously, people will notice right away is the sliding weight track. That was in the standard Epic, not the Epic Sub-Zero. Here it's in both models and there's been some pretty significant modifications made to ensure that you can create bias without losing MOI. Yeah, absolutely. The, the APW, or the Adjustable Perimeter Weight, is one of our most popular technologies. People recognize it, other than Jailbreak, it's probably the one that people recognize the most because it's so intuitive and it's easy to use. I'm holding the Sub-Zero model, you're holding the, the standard here. So we have a 16 gram weight. We've made the track shorter this year, and the reason why we've made it shorter is when that track goes all the way to the heel, you're actually giving up MOI as the weight moves further, but you're not getting the, that shot shape correction. So with this, we've also brought it to the Sub-Zero. You're going to be able to get 20 yards of shot shape correction between using the sliding weight and using the hosel settings as well. Now with the Sub-Zero and the standard model, Will it sort of fit the same player profile type as the original two Epic models? Yeah, I think what was so unique about the original Epic model is the standard fit a ton of players, but the Sub-Zero worked for a lot of players. It wasn't necessarily just the low handicap, high speed guy. It was really for anyone who wanted to really reduce spin. So this Sub-Zero model, it's about 500 RPM less spin just to start than the standard. So if you got somebody, even if they're you know in the 15 handicap range, they need to really lower that spin, they should look at the Sub-Zero model because they're both high MOI. And of course, sort of bringing it all together from a performance and weighting standpoint is one of the lightest carbon crowns in golf. And one of the things that we've done with the, this carbon crown is we have a new weave on it. It's called a T2C, so it's a triaxial carbon crown. It's a tighter weave, so it's still triaxial carbon, but it's a tighter weave. We think it looks sharper. That's a 9.7 gram crown, you know, compared to a lot of competitors are in the 25, 26 gram crown if they're using uh, all titanium. So that gives us significant weight savings, which is what allows us to have the track, the jailbreak bars, and the flash phase. Yeah, and the driver looks sharp. We got the green from the original Epic, a little bit of yellow. I know you're excited. Yeah, a little, little pop. So we wanted to go back to the heritage of, of the Epic, but this is a completely new driver, so you got a little pop of the yellow in there as well. Good stuff. Dave, we appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, Chris.